Nationwide, 25 million Americans suffer from aerophobia. When you think about it, that's the extreme fear of flying. And there's also even more Americans that suffer from anxiety or suffer from a disability or suffer from any other sort of ailment that may prevent them from wanting to step onto a plane or even arrive at the airport. So our goal at Dimensional Innovations was to help steward the process of here is what flying might look like for you in a very safe and palatable way before you ever have to leave the ground. So the experience starts off. You are checking in at an actual airport kiosk. So the same kiosks that are used throughout the airport, you go up, find your name, and it actually prints you a boarding pass. So just like the actual kiosk, you have a boarding pass in hand, which you can then check in at the gate with and you walk down the jetway to your plane and you're walking into an actual plane. So you have a seat on the plane, you look out the windows and you're, you see the actual airport. So you can see the baggage handlers moving around, you can see people in the tarmac. So then you see on the front monitor a flight attendant who's telling us the safety instructions and giving us a little download of what's gonna happen throughout this experience. We uh, put on our seatbelts and get ready for takeoff. So out the windows, you're seeing us taxi to the runway and we take off. We do a little 10 minute loop around the city and then land. And it is a really accurate, true life flight experience. One of the biggest challenges on this project was getting a realistic out of the window view. So this means making a, a photorealistic recreation of not just the airport, but the tarmac, the Kansas City area that you're flying over, we wanted all that to be as authentic as possible. We also shot and edited a video for the front of the cabin, which is our flight attendant who explains what's happening throughout the entire experience and kind of guides you through the flight. Fasten your seatbelt by placing the metal fitting into the buckle and adjust We the took it pretty far in terms of replicating the airline flight as far as we could, but there was also challenges in just the mechanical aspects of it. So when you, take a refurbished aircraft and you want it to make it feel like it's still flying, there's a lot of challenges in materials and textures and lighting and getting it back together and getting things to align and putting monitors in the window spaces and getting audio to sound correctly. So the challenges were really like, we're trying to create something that is as realistic as possible, but it's sitting on the ground. I think the neatest part is when you get into the cabin and you sit down and you start listening and you have this moment of quiet, as other people are shuffling around, or maybe it's just you and, and your caregiver or someone, there's a, a feeling you get that you sort of feel like you're, you're at altitude. I and mean, that's kind of a crazy thing to think about because we have sounds, we have sights, we have video, we have a full-size cabin. I mean, it's until you're inside of it and experience it, it, it becomes so true to life. And that, that was really, really impactful.